All right, so we're using our data from problem seven, which is this uh, first lady information. So the first question is, um, are being under 30 and being over 65 disjoint? Uh, well, yes they are, because these are all the people that are under 30 and these are the people that are over 65 and they do not share any common outcomes. You cannot be over 30 I mean, you cannot be under 30 and over 65. You're in one age group or the other, so they are disjoint. Because no one can be in both categories. So the question B is, is eight, being 18 to 29 and over 65 independent? No, because disjoint events cannot be independent. We discussed that in class. Okay, we've already determined that they're disjoint, so there's no way that they could be independent. Uh, our answer in Clinton. And what is it being over 65? Over 65 disjoint. No, because this cell right here, uh, those are people that like Clinton and are over 65. So these are not, uh, let's see, Clinton and uh, disjoint. I'm sorry, not Clinton and uh, over 65 are not disjoint. Because. 65 people are over 65 and like Clinton. Okay. And then the last question are answering Clinton and being over 65 independent. Well, let's test it. Probability of Clinton and over 65. Is that equal to probability of Clinton? times the probability of over 65. So Clinton and over 65 is six, uh, 65 out of 1,005. Probability somebody likes Clinton is 437. Probability somebody's over 65 is 167 out of 1,005. So let's do the math. Here, let's see what happens. So 65 over 1,005 is 0.065. And 437 divided by 1,005 times 167 divided by 1,005. And that's 0.072. So those are not equal, so they are not not independent. Uh, let's see. 